What's up guys? I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we are doing some more prep work to get this subfloor laid down. And for the most part, it's all about the C channels today. So come along. All right, y'all, so these are the C channels we're dealing with today. As you can see, they are still riveted in. Now, on a prior video, I marked these C channels. You can see the marking right here, and there might be another mark over here. Those marks indicate where they go on the frame and what position they'll have. So we already got that taken care of, but I am going to remove these today. I'll show you then how much flex we'll be working with here once I get those removed. And just for good measure, I'm gonna mark where all these C channels begin and end on the actual shell, just so I don't lose that reference. But uh, it's time to unrib it, so let's get to work. It does look like we're gonna be racing the weather, so got to get to work. All right, let's go. y'all so this is the first C channel we got off as you can see here uh, bent right here we'll just have to unbend this a little bit make some space there and then I can bring you inside the trailer and show you how this then slides up back into the shell it'll be challenging but let's go see how much uh, flex the frame has because if it has a little bit of flex we'll be able to do that with more ease all right, so this is where we just took the C-channel out. And so what it essentially does is, the piece of plywood will go inside here. It'll be positioned on the frame, stationary like so. Then whenever we drop the trailer down, we're gonna have to have people working the sides of it. So whenever this slides under, we'll have someone press out and make sure this lines up just right. And uh, yeah, so I'll put it right here, you know, we'll slide down, we'll have someone flexing the aluminum a little bit, pulling it out, and then this will hopefully slide right back up in here. It will be challenging, totally aware of that. But I do think since it's aluminum, it gives us that opportunity to have the flex and hopefully make it be um, a slightly easier process. came off with great ease that was very easy to get off uh, I'm gonna go sneak around the other side and see if this wall has a little more flex in that front wall that front wall did not have as much flex as I was anticipating but I think that's because the doors right there still had some flex to it but I've already noticed on these back ones by the um, wheel wells huge amount of flex so let me go see what this one's working with All right, y'all, so after doing a handful of these rivets, the drill bit, bit begins to look like uh, this. Gets a lot of those rivet heads on there. We struggled with this in the very beginning, uh, not knowing how to get these off, but we had a Vibe Tribe member tell us, all we need to do is get some pliers, put this on reverse. We'll hold all of these heads right there and shoot it in reverse and see what happens. There you go. I know it was a little blurry, but they do all come off. Great tip from the Vibe Tribe. Thank you guys for sharing that knowledge with us. Got one more on here. There we go. All right, back to riveting. Alright, so third C channel off. I believe we only have one more really long one on the other side. So it's starting to get hot out here. I'm starting to sweat. Rain's about to come in. We're gonna knock this one out real quick.
got the last one off. You can see this is a long one. And uh, obviously we missed a few, I missed a few rivets along the way. Had to get Olivia to help me get it from the inside because sometimes you just never know what it's caught on. Uh, so now uh, let's go over and just put one of these uh, small C channels on a piece of plywood and see how it fits. So the channel fits um, pretty easily on that plywood. There is not gonna be a problem getting the plywood in here at all. We did have a Vibe Tribe member show us a tool that will help us uh, get these pieces of aluminum back to shape. But aluminum is uh, rigid and just is not as malleable as like steel is, I guess. So we do have to be careful that we don't break it. So I have to find that tool because I don't remember what it's called. y'all so the rain really came down for hours it just let up the sun is set nighttime is about to fall so we won't get any more work done on the argosy today thank you again so much for watching today and we'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow see ya